guys, Merry Christmas, and I'm here with a quick video. I just want to give a huge shout out to my cousin. Uh, he gave me this for Christmas. Awesome, awesome gift. Uh, I totally want to show it off to you guys. Um, so let's just dive right in here. So I open up the uh, gift and I see this Raspberry Pi uh, box. And what it is, is a retro pie that he actually uh, made he, he put it together and uh, programmed it put all the games on it um, it's totally awesome it has uh, a ton of consoles on it a ton of games on it it's got the uh, ports there it's got uh, Wi-Fi Ethernet awesome little case it's in um, I think this thing is awesome it's very tiny it has uh, HDMI on the side there so you could just um, if I can get to focus, you just plug it right into your TV and have it uh, work right away. Really, really cool. Super excited to have this. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys how it works in just a few minutes. I'm going to hook it up to the Elgato um, and do a quick video. Also, he gave me this really cool uh, USB controller. It's an iBuffalo Um controller it's just got a USB on the end uh, he said just about any USB will work with this thing um, which is cool any USB controller so I got this it's a mock Super Nintendo controller got plenty of buttons on it uh, turbo con turbo button and everything so that's really cool so uh, stay tuned and I'll show you guys how everything works all right guys so here we are on the retro pie just gonna give you guys a tour so the first thing we have here is arcade Let's go on to that. We got a ton of games here, as you can see. Just scroll through real fast. There's a lot of stuff here. Uh, let's see. Let me make the audio there. All right. So we got Famicom Disk System, which is awesome. This is uh, Doki Doki Panic he put on here, which is the original Mario 2. And it's really cool because I've never played it. Uh, so I'm totally going to be checking that out soon. We got Game Gear, a couple of games on here, that's cool, regular Game Boy, put the Pokemon games, which is sweet, a couple other games in here, it's awesome, let's go to Game Boy Advance, ton of stuff here, a ton of great, great games, uh, Minish Cap, awesome game, all the Pokemons, the Mystery Dungeon, wow, this is excellent, Power Rangers, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, that's great because I love this series, he knew that. Link to the Past, cool. And uh, I forgot to mention it before, this has um, this has a 32 gig uh, micro SD card in there, or SD, I think it's a micro SD, I didn't look at it, um, which is cool because you can upgrade it and you could add more games on it and stuff, so I'm probably never going to get through all these, but if there's something I need to add or whatever, I will. That's, that's not the right box for that, but that's funny. That's the N64 box. Bowling, Dalmatians. I actually had this game as a kid. Pinball. 720. Aladdin. Oh, man. Awesome stuff. On in the Dark. Animorphs. Wow. So much stuff on here. I didn't even know there were Austin Power games for Game Boy, but that's cool. Azure Dreams. Wow, man, there's so much stuff on here, as you guys can see. I'm just going to scroll through a little faster because there's just so much stuff. <laughs> It'll take me all day to scroll through them all. Oh, man, Dave Mira. Wow, I'm only in D. I'm just going to fly through them for you guys so you can see real quick. Just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's how many Game Boy games are on here. So that's cool. Sega Master System. Bunch of awesome games. Alex Kidd. These are great. Oh, man. So if you guys want to see a Let's Play of anything, uh, it's very easy for me to pick up and record them now. So let's scroll through real quick. Yeah, anything you guys see, let me know. I'll, I'll do it. Um totally into into doing the games on here whatever's on here so much easier than pulling out the the actual system and hooking it up to the converter 
So, Genesis, Bugs Life, Real Monsters, wow. Alex Kidd, Enchanted Castle. I never played that one, actually. Alien 3, wow. I'm like in awe right now. This game's cool. Oh, man. Let's scroll down. Battletoads Double Dragon. I never played the Genesis one, so that's insane. Again, I'm just going to scroll right through because I can't possibly sit here and go through all these with you guys watching. But just the, the sheer awe of how many games are on here. Zool, Zombies Eat My Neighbors, which I have. That's crazy. Okay. NES. Uh, he said every NES ROM from the US is on here. So I'm not even going to. I'm just going to scroll through like the other ones. Because it would take me days to go through the 700 and something games. Wow. Look how long it's taken me to scroll through these. <laughs> yeah. So you can see. This is just so... It's so great because it's so convenient. I could bring it in my living room. I could use it to do Let's Plays uh, without having to break out the system. And I could just use a real USB controller if I want to for, for the NES. Uh, the one I have here is fine. It's the Super Nintendo clone. But yeah, Neo Geo Pocket Color. I have this system and I only have like two games for it. So this is incredible. I can check out these games without paying a fortune for them. And if I want to get them, I'll get them, you know, later. But it's so cool. TurboGrafx-16, which I don't have the system. So this is the only way I can play these games. That's really exciting. There's a bunch of games on here I really want to try. Like these right here. Bomberman. I'm a huge Bomberman fan, so that's cool. There's so much stuff. <laughs> Just scrolling through. Let's see if we got... Oh. Yep, oh, scrolling right through. Let me go back up here. So much stuff. Uh, where is it? Oh yeah, there it is. Definitely going to be checking this out. Splatterhouse. Uh, this, he put Cody on it for me, which I didn't mention before, which is awesome. Because I can literally just hook up a USB flash drive or a um, USB hard drive and play movies and files right off it. Which is excellent. Very excited about that. PS1, which is insane. <laughs> Again. A lot of games um, that I had as a kid that I love. I still have all my games, but it's just so convenient to have them right here with HDMI. So that's cool. Alright. And then, uh, this is just the settings and stuff like that, I believe. Uh, yeah, just the settings and everything. That's cool. Got 32X. Wow. Oh, Doom. Yeah. Yeah. I've never played the 32X version, so that's awesome. Star Trek. I never got to play this. I have a 32X, but I don't have any of the wires for it. So I never really got any games. Star Wars Arcade. It's going to be sweet. Uh, Sega CD, which is really cool, too. I sound like an idiot, but literally, I mean, this is just incredible to me. <laughs> this, this could fit on such a small little thing. And we got SNES, Super Baseball, <laughs> all right, yeah, there's just so much stuff here, Aladdin, everyone likes the Genesis version better, well, at least a lot of my friends do, I like the Super Nintendo version, to each his own, Batman, Battletoads and Battle Maniacs. Bonkers, Bobby's World, Booger Man, I love this game. Oh my gosh. Bust a Move, Capcom, Captain America and the Avengers. I have that for Genesis. I think it's the same game, I'm not sure. Because I never played the Super Nintendo one. Clay Fighter, I love these games. Contra. Oh yes, Demon's Crest. One of my favorite Super Nintendo games. I don't own it because it's very expensive. 
That's cool. I'm just going to fast forward here through these. Yeah, if you hold the button down, it lets you go, like, really quick. Wow. Got yeah, X-Men Mutant Apocalypse. And I've never really got into the uh, Super Nintendo version of this, so I'm going to try it out because I, I own the Genesis one, so it's cool. The One of the my favorite things is this right here, Virtual Boy, which I don't have. I have some of the games. I don't have the system. So you can actually play Virtual Boy games right on the TV through this, which is incredible. I'll, I'll boot up Mario Tennis real quick just so you guys can see. He showed me this um, before, and I was, like, shocked that this is a thing. So, yep. Playing Virtual Boy right here. <laughs> right on the TV. I want to play the Wario game that's on here. That's what I'm really excited about. So, look at that. You don't need to get a headache. <laughs> you just play it right on the TV. I have no idea how to play because I've never played Virtual Boy, but I guess it's the same concept. So cool. Yep, there we go. So yeah, then you just hit those buttons, start and select, and it brings you back to the menu before. So let's see, I think th this is probably, yeah, I have this game, Red Alarm. This is probably all of the um, Virtual Boy games. I think there's only like 20-something of them. So, oh, Water World. So, yeah, Virtual Boy, that's sick that this is on here. Um, like I said, I never got to play this, so. Yeah, War, or Water World. I think there's a Wario game on here somewhere. I don't know. I'll, I'll mess around with it later, but. Yep, so you got that. Uh, arcade. I think this is what I started with for you guys. So, yeah, you got the Arcade. If I didn't show it, I don't remember. I think I did. Uh. All your key games so yeah that's pretty much it um just tons and tons and tons of stuff on here uh it's got a 32 gig card in it uh i could upgrade to a 64 eventually i guess i, I don't see the point right now because there's just so much stuff on here that i'm gonna play and you know, i'm gonna be doing let's plays and stuff so uh real quick let's just boot up nes and just play something for the heck of it let's see what do we got uh, uh, let's see. It's so hard to pick. There's <laughs> so much stuff. Let's just play uh, Tiny Toon Adventures real quick. Just for laughs. Yep. Boots right up. No problems. Sound is fine. Um, so far, I mean, I haven't noticed any problems. I know sometimes when you emulate games, the sound is wacky. But from what I've been uh, hearing just for the few minutes, I've been messing with it. It's, it sounds fine to me. You guys can hear it probably through the stream. Um, hopefully my TV's not picking it up, but or the mic's not picking up the TV. But yeah, so I'm gonna have a blast with this thing. Uh, excellent gift. I really, again, I want to give a huge shout out to my cousin. I really appreciate this. He put a lot of time into uh, putting the games on here and stuff and setting it up. So uh, thanks a lot. And. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, there you guys go. That's a little tour of the Retro Pie. I'm um, sure, I, I guess there's other ways of setting this thing up. I don't know much about it. Uh, but, yeah, so let me know what you guys think. Let me know if there's a game you guys want me to play. Now that I have a ton more games, um, you know, I could easily record now. I don't have to hook anything up extra. Just one, two, three. So, uh, let, me, let me know what you guys want to see and let me know what you guys think of this thing.